Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your lady Catherine, her real hotness, and I've got so much love for you all because you guys appreciated me so much. On the 29th of June was my birthday, and I got so much love, prayers, gifts, so many things that I can't recount. I was really, really overwhelmed and I really appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys with all the love you've shown me. But something else happened on that day. So there's this lady on Twitter whose name is Bola. She happens to be a doctor. And apparently the popular Twitter influencer, Dr. Oluwa Femilayo, and this lady met on Twitter. They started dating for a while. And according to Bola, they were dating. She decided to visit him in the UK. She paid for a flight, visa fee, everything, got there, stayed with him. The whole pandemic happened and she got sexually and emotionally abused by Dr. Oluwafemilayo. But right now we've heard the other side of the story and Dr. Oluwafemilayo has stated clearly that he never sexually or emotionally abused her and that... Uh, he actually wanted to bring her to the UK, but she didn't get the first visa application. It was unsuccessful. She did the second one, which was successful. And she came to the UK, stayed in his house for uh, how many months? Like three, four months. And has been taking pictures in front of his house and has been making life unbearable for him. Even though he wanted to break up with her because the relationship was kind of toxic. But he didn't know how to go about it. He indirectly showed us signs that, you know what, we can't be together. But he's like, you know what, I found out that... This girl actually came so she would get pregnant because uh, she wanted me to marry her. And I'm like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What exactly is going on? Now this whole issue has blown up in our faces. And now the hashtag fear women is trending. But not, a, not just because of Dr. Oluwa Familayo and Bola, but because the artist, the international artist, August Alsina, has claimed that he had something to do with Jada Pinkett Smith. I know you guys are really shocked, but it did happen. And according to August Alcina, it happened with the permission of Will Smith, her husband. Or should I say a lifelong partner? Mm -hmm. You guys are really, really shocked. But anyways, uh, Twitter has reacted in so many ways. Bola claims to have gotten some DMs from ladies who have in the past been sexually and emotionally abused by Dr. Olua Femilayo, but were not able to come out to state their case and they're calling her brave. And Twitter has actually reacted in so many ways. So this is the hashtag fear women at number one trending on Twitter. And these are the tweets I found online, guys. whoa i'm like what exactly is that like did you see all those vehicles the buses the kekes after god fear women oh Biri. i'm like why what did this women do to you at the end of the day you keep saying after god fear women but the hashtag men has come trend almost every now and then and even though fear women is just number one just for one or two days men has come trends almost every other day so at the end of the day everyone is good everyone is bad it's just for you to not generalize and say all women are bad all men are scam and just learn to understand people and not just generalize when you meet them give them room to understand and communicate with you okay but anyway talking about uh, jada pinkett and will smith will smith has come out to tweet that he never gave his permission to august alcina to date his wife so now the question is who's lying because Back then, there were rumors that August Alcina was dating Jada Pinkett Smith and it affected his endorsement and a couple of jobs that he had at hand. So is he trying to cover up or what exactly is all of this? I just have one question for you guys. Would you practice an open marriage 
or would you always let your partner get away with anything they do fear women or men has come any hashtag that's trending just let me know what you think about an open marriage and what a man or woman has done to you in your life that you would never ever forget that would make you use that hashtag or call them out on social media let me know in the comment section below also don't forget to like this video share with your family and friends and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel Shirley Catherine her real hotness signing off thank you so much God.